Recently, I've been struggling to stay motivated towards my long-term and also short-term goals, and I wanted to dedicate today's episode to sort of talking about it with you guys and maybe giving you guys some tips and advice on how you can get back on track towards whatever you're trying to achieve at the moment. Now I'm just finishing up my gym class that I'm in. I'm actually going to go in a walk for this class, so come along with me today uh, for the rest of the day. It's already 4 o'clock right now. Eat some popcorn, talk about some motivational stuff, and uh, hopefully help you guys out. The first thing I want to talk about is actually your mentality towards setting these goals. So the number one thing, just straight up, you can do before I tell you anything else, like strategies, just whenever you're feeling unmotivated, go back and think about why you set this goal in the first place. What do you want to achieve? What in the long run or short run do you really want to get out of doing this one thing? And I know a lot of the goals of people on this channel and my subscribers are towards things like YouTube and Instagram or TikTok or whatever you're trying to grow on. And something that a lot of people struggle with and I've done is you set these goals that are like gain 3,000 followers, gain 5,000 followers, get 10,000 views. And ultimately, those are all things that are out of your circle of influence, i.e. things you cannot control. So you have this big circle of things you can control, right? So you want to put all your effort into things that you can control. And outside of the circle of influence are things that you cannot control. So there is no point in trying to worry about those. So obviously, you need to worry about your views and subscribers because if you're not going up, you need to change. But ultimately, what you should be focusing on instead is each video you do, instead of trying to get 10 new subscribers, subscribers try and focusing on making one element to that video whether it's your audio your video your visuals and this can sort of go with anything else right anything else in life can sort of follow this factor of working on bettering yourself to then the results will come then actually focusing on the results and not trying to better yourself one more thing that a lot of people actually overlook is their mental health because if you're eating like crap and you're just not exercising and you're not being active and you're sitting playing video games all day obviously you're not going to be able to get that motivation you desire and that doesn't mean you have to get a gym membership and be like going somewhere three days a week or seven days a week or whatever all it means is once a day for 20 minutes go out for a walk cleanse your mind try and eat a little bit healthier eat a little less junk food drink water instead of soft drinks and trust me you will feel a lot better and be a lot more motivated towards whatever you're doing it'll actually help today is literally insane it's not even that hot it's only six degrees celsius which is absolutely freezing when it comes to the fall but you know it's been so cold lately that today is just so nice like you can see probably there you go yeah the sun's hitting really hard on my face it's just awesome love it but it's gonna get really cold soon so no hi eli Before when I was talking about your actual physical health, I said that you didn't need to go to the gym three or four days a week, but if you do have the ability to, if you're actually physically able to, and you have one accessible to you, or you're able to go to a gym, then that's absolutely great. And there's also, if you want to do a little more than a walk, you can download a ton of apps. I've got some links in the description, but just like seven minute workout, that's a great way. You can't complain about time literally spend more time on TikTok every day. It's only seven minutes. You can do it a couple times if that's not enough. And it's a great cardio and strength workout all built into this short time frame built by professionals that'll really help you. Also make sure that you're bringing a water bottle around with you everywhere, even if it's in your house, throw it in your backpack when you go to school, when you go to work. Just make sure you always are drinking water because that is gonna help you feel so refreshed and just so much better every single day. It's now the next day and you can see the sun is once again beautifully coming at my face behind me through these curtains. A lot of the time what we say, personally I do this a lot, I say, well I'm just not motivated today so I can't write this essay, I can't write this video, I can't film, I'm just not motivated, today's just not my day. What you need to do is, I saw this in a YouTube video so I don't take credit for coming up with this, but pretty much what you need to do is replace this I can't do it, I don't feel motivated to I won't because at the end of the day you can do it you really can do it it's just about your mind telling you that you can't do it for some motivational reason you actually can it's just you're choosing not to and you know it's it's really just you having to come to yourself saying screw what my mind says i'm gonna get this done and you know this little this little thing you start little actions spur big reactions so pretty much if you start the ball rolling if you just power off your phone Put it away, you know, start working, you're gonna get rolling, and then you're not even gonna think about your phone or about any other distractions, or I can't be motivated. It's just, you're just gonna get into this flow state and keep rolling after like 20-ish minutes. And also, if you're having one of those I'm not motivated days, that's okay too. Something that I really struggle with and I suck is taking breaks, and taking breaks are so important. What happens is 
your brain needs to reset sometimes. Our life is based on cycles and the way we as humans function is it's the same way the sleep cycle works is this was said by Thomas Frank in a video is that you need to sort of rest. Your brain has these working hours, right? And pretty much what it is, is you work for these hours, you sleep for these hours and your work needs to be the same way. So if you're in an entrepreneurial way or a YouTube way where there's no nine to five time that you're working, it's you're always working, you always have the opportunity to work. So you have to have that mentality that yeah, it's okay sometimes to take breaks. Sometimes it's okay to take a break and just have those days where you just sort of say, screw my to-do list and just relax and watch some Netflix. You definitely have to make sure that it's not a habit and it doesn't start happening too often where it's preventing you from actually getting things done. But you know, once in a while, you just really need that mental refresh. So with that here, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something that'll help you get out of your rut a little bit and sort of spur you towards getting everything done you ever dreamed of. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you do want to learn how to be productive, click right here to watch my video on how to be productive as a teenager or a young adult or basically anyone. Click here to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.